Hi guys, today I'll be doing a simple tutorial on how to find the bullish and bearish divergence on the stochastic indicator. So the thing about bullish and bearish divergence is first you have to find um, swing highs and swing lows on price and swing highs and swing lows on the stochastic indicator. This takes a little bit of practice, but over time you will tend to get more, your eyes will be more in tune, more familiar with these patterns and you can easily identify them. Now, a word of caution is that um, usually for bullish and bearish divergence, um, you need further confirmation. You can't just use um, bearish divergence as a sign to, to start selling the market to going bearish. And you can't just use bullish divergence as a sign to start going long on the market. In most, in most cases, you have to look for additional forms of confirmation. Um, all these different kinds of confirmation I have um, I've listed in my site, um, in my tutorial, uh, which you can find the link of at the bottom of this uh, video, or rather in the comment section. And if you're, if you're watching this video from the site itself, uh, from the tutorial guide itself, then um, please also take note that you should um, combine this bullish and bearish divergence with other uh, confirmation signals. You know, whether it is um, stochastic being at a strong horizontal support or um, horizontal resistance, you know, there are diagonal supports and resistance, there are breakout levels. There are so many ways to use the stochastic indicator that most of the time, uh, the, the people, uh, right, the, the public, uh, what you learn in the public, uh, teaches you wrongly. So today, um, today I'll just be touching on the bullish and bearish divergence, but do take note that there are many other ways to use the stochastic indicator. If you want to learn uh, how to use them, just swing by the um, tutorials we should have on our site for free. All right, so to begin, um, what you see here is a bearish divergence. Bearish divergence simply mean that um, we are expecting a bearish move soon, okay? So the first thing you have to look for are swing highs. So on, in price, you first find a swing high here, and then you find a swing high here. Basically, what is happening is that you notice that the market is basically moving upwards. It's making higher highs, all right? And once you find a swing high, then you look over at the stochastic. What you're looking for are swing lows, you know, this and this. These are swing lows, you know, when price at this exact point of time is making a high and at this point of time it's making another high actually no sorry it's, it's, it's over here just let me delete that um, it's over here at this exact point of time where it's making higher highs stochastic is making lower highs so this part when price is going up and Stochastic is going down. This is what we call the divergence. Because, you know, clearly one of them is wrong. In most cases, it is price that is wrong. You know, stochastic, uh, whether it's the stochastic we use or the RSI we use, um, the, the key of this stochastic RSI is to tell when um, it is best when it is moving in tandem. You know, when it's moving in tandem, things are much clearer. For example, you know, this is. Uh, lower highs you know this is lower highs you know when it's moving in tandem everything is all right the moment they stop moving in tandem then there is divergence it means one of them is wrong in this case uh, after this divergence this bearish divergence you notice that um, price actually made a, a drop from a drop here you know that there was a drop and there was a drop on in stochastic so this bearish divergence is definitely a good first uh, pre-signal that something is not right with the market and we should be expecting a bearish move soon. Now, what do I mean you combine it with uh, other forms of signals, um, right? So, um, this is a little, little bit off topic, but what I mean is, firstly, um, there is so many ways to use the stochastic indicator. One of the best ways is to look for what I call hidden levels of support and resistance. Now, on this stochastic indicator right here, um, you can see that you, if you draw a horizontal line here, right? You draw a horizontal line here, and immediately you see a few things. Firstly, you notice that this resistance matches up with uh, the drop from here, 
this drop matches up with the drop from here and clearly these two drops matches up with the drops from there um, this drop tallies with the drop from here a small drop and so this at this point of time here price was already reacting many times of this 95% resistance it is important to know that we should not use the 2080 or the 2575 uh, rules that most people teach us you know, if, uh, it's important to know that there are hidden levels of support and resistance and this is the way you find them you find which levels um, on the stochastic has seen the most reactions of price so throughout all this time the only time when price was really showing a divergence was really at this period here over here this was the period where there was starting to show a divergence and hence it was a good signal for us that from here we should be seeing a drop and true enough uh, there was a really nice drop from there okay so bearish divergence just remember on the stochastic they're looking for this uh, lower highs on the price they're looking for higher highs the moment they're not moving in tandem you know it tells you that something fishy is going on um, and and to watch out for it okay so now we move on to um to just i uh, just want to touch on a, a one more one more way of looking at the stochastic indicator that very few people look at and um, just let me show you here um, this is actually called the horizontal um, not the diagonal support and resistance in in most cases people just look at stochastic as being straight you know you just look at a straight line um, straight horizontal supports in this case the diagonal the diagonal resistance line that breaks out is actually true here uh, hold on just let me use uh, through here you see there was a breakout here so this breakout this breakout right here I'm oh, sorry I mean this breakout right here led to the drop from here and we can see uh, how this corresponds with price and similarly price had some sort of a uh, you know, it's being held up like that then once the break occurred then it started to drop so that is uh, you can combine the bullish and bearish divergence you know with uh, with diagonal support uh, and diagonal resistance levels too especially when they are broken which usually triggers a, a, a really nice move down all right so now that we have touched on uh, bearish divergence I'd just like to show you really quickly what bullish divergence is uh, we have it here uh, bullish divergence is very simple in this case what you can see is that uh, price is forming a lower high I mean a lower low and the stochastic indicator is forming a higher low so in this case you know price is going down uh, stochastic is going up so stochastic is basically saying you know hey buddy hey price you're not going the same direction as me there's something wrong and most of the time it's you that's wrong so in this case we expect price to shoot up which it has all right and similarly you can see here you know price has been making one one low and has been making lower lows and the uh stochastic has been making higher lows so again you know they are going opposite direction stochastic tells price that you're not following the script and from there we see a bounce from there of course at all times um, it's good to take note that during this uh these levels the stochastic was more or less in a pretty oversold uh oversold territory already so we were more or less expanding a, expecting price to make a bounce but ultimately like i mentioned before do not use the bullish divergions and a bearish divergence as trading signals they are more for confirmation signals all right so i hope this helps you better understand how the um how we can use some um, bullish and bearish divergence how to find swing highs and swing lows uh, just going to touch on really quickly on all the different swing highs and swing lows here so you know this is a swing high this is a swing high this is a swing high 
this is a swing high. All these are swing highs, all right? Now, in the past, I had problems identifying what are swing highs and swing lows. Um, just want to help anyone who has problems identifying that now, you know. These are swing lows, these are swing lows swing lows you know it's, it's just very obvious when you look at the chart where the swing lows are you know it's just anytime a swing low just happens anytime price comes down and bounces up you know it comes down it bounces up this makes a new low at least for this period here until it's broken again until it's broken again you know it's, it's very obvious you know how swing lows happen and the same goes for swing highs every time prices ri rises up to the top it you know it comes down this is a swing high Swing high, all the swing highs. So all these are swing highs, and then you look for the corresponding. Um, what I usually like to do is once I see swing highs and swing lows, then I look at the stochastic to see if, uh, correspondingly, uh, are they telling me anything. So in this case, you know, uh, once I find a a certain swing low here, then then I just look down. Okay, this is a swing low on stochastic. This is a swing low. This is a swing low. It tells you more or less where the uh where to where to find the the swing highs and the swing lows on the stochastic indicator, and this is much easier than trying to look for swing lows on the stochastic indicator and then going to the uh going to price. This helps you see it much better. Always use price first, then um then move on to finding the corresponding swing high and swing low on the stochastic. On the stochastic indicator so you know for for the swing highs it's here it's here it's here it's very it's very easy to find the swing highs and the swing lows you know when you see a whole range here you just take uh you know can just take the exact point which is just about here uh it's just about here to find where the swing high and swing low is all right so that's it for me guys i uh, hope this video helped you uh, better understand how the bullish and bearish divergence works on the stochastic indicator how to use them you know how you can combine them with horizontal resistances on the stochastic and even diagonal uh diagonal support and resistance levels uh we have the entire tutorial on our site you know it goes into advanced ways to use the stochastic indicator ways that profitable traders use and many of the industry leaders do not want you to know how to use it so if you feel like this video has benefited you you know just leave a thumbs up uh in for this youtube video if any questions you can always post them in the comment section below or um, you can always swing by our live trading room at www.dforexarmy.com slash live dash forex dash trading dash room you'll find the link in the in the description below too and from there you can feel free to ask um ask us any questions you have um, especially when it comes to finding profitable trading opportunities. All right, so that's it for me, guys. Um, have a profitable trading, uh, trading experience and peace out.